Welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're taking our mini bike back to the drag strip. There was a few things wrong with it that I had to fix. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, check it out. But I'm really excited to hit the strip today and see what this thing can do. Yeah, you're gonna be a you're gonna be a one of a kind probably anyhow. Appreciate you. All right, thank you. Look at that freedom right there, guys. We have arrived at the drag strip. I'm super excited for this. There's a few changes we've made since the part one. We've installed an ATV thumb throttle. I dropped one tooth down in the sprocket and I leaned this thing out. We've changed the crank seals, we've added a billet basket. Oh, and we also got this tack working, but it's kind of useless because it updates too slow. Yeah, guys, I'm really excited. So the main goal today is just consistency and getting down the shifts, and most importantly, just to have fun. So we're in the staging lanes right now. I don't see much bikes here today, unfortunately. Looks like I might be a one-man team. guys check that out got to work on our launch we got a 9.3 guys that's crazy so guys the fastest pass I made last time was 969 so this 9.3 is already a huge improvement I was reading a lot of your comments and I really do appreciate them keep in mind guys I am still learning I'm trying out new techniques so yeah let's go again Best 64 Mama ever. Elbow. Now even though this run seemed pretty sloppy, this turned out to be my fastest reaction time and my fastest 60 foot to date. So that's pretty crazy. Man, it looks like our first pass was the fastest so far. Just kind of weird. The thing that kind of sucks is that I have to wait like 15 to 30 minutes between each pass and my bike completely cools down and it's kind of hard getting that heat back into it when you're just but yeah the main struggle is just consistency so we'll see what this pass does i think it's going to be the fourth one gonna end up in that wall. Messed that run up. 
Just yeah. got my launch was pretty squirrely. Like I, I don't know really what happened. Parents want me to. <laughs> after, see, after seeing this, that's why I said that. It's hard. When we come by this, he was like, "Look at that!" And I told him, "No." <laughs> <laughs> So guys, this last pass was a 9.5, which is pretty crazy. The fact that my first pass was the fastest out of all of them, usually it'd be the other way around. Like usually your last pass would be the fastest one. I'm pretty happy with this thing. This thing was really a nice, consistent nine second bike. But you know, the human tendency is to always want more. So yeah, I guess I want more. Special thanks to Dustin for the awesome camera skills. Dude, killed it. Now this stuff isn't easy. I almost wiped out and the shifting hit that like button down below if you enjoyed this video and want to see more and want to see this thing progress and maybe even start a new build with a bigger engine that has a CVT but we'll see now guys I got a little bit of a warm feeling knowing that there's about a dozen cars here that are slower than my mini bike so let's go but yeah guys unfortunately the very cool older guy was not here from last time I can't wait to see what you do with that, man. I'm excited. And the dude on the Harley was also not here. Hey. We're going to have to lean it out even more, but that's a whole nother story for another video. It's been a hectic day, guys, so I'll catch you back at the house tomorrow. And like the tradition has it, we got to finish the day off with some Taco Bell. Guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. The goal is to get in the eights, and I'm not giving up. I do believe I can go an eight on a stock cylinder. We just got to do some transmission work. Thankfully, nothing broke this time, but there are some things that I need to improve for the next run we do. I think I got to redesign my whole seat situation. I want to make an aluminum seat that has a little ducktail. I think that's the one thing that's hurting my 60 foots. The gearing is there. I am considering getting a skinny for the front. And one thing I want to do is override my transmission. It would allow me to shift under full power and start considering a stroker crank and porting, maybe alcohol, but I want to move in baby steps. The override transmission can help you save a few tenths off your ET. I definitely want to get a pipe dedicated to drag racing that ditches the muffler because that is extra weight. Thank you to the sponsor, GoPowerSports.com. Please visit their site. They made this build possible. But yeah, guys, I will see you in the next video. Stay tuned. Peace and God bless.